Howdy, howdy. Welcome to another exciting episode of Harry's Cocktail Adventures. Um, <clears throat> now, we're going to start off. Uh, today's cocktail is super easy. Um, for the next uh, couple of weeks, we'll be using, uh, doing tequila. And um, one of the simplest, all my cocktails, as you know, I like to keep simple so I can fit my story in. Oh, by the way, if, you, if you're enjoying the music in the background, that's compliments of uh, this guy, Richard Clayderman. Really good piano player, if you like piano. I think uh, I think I found this in Mum's collection. So, uh, that's him playing right now, just over there, on a grand piano. Uh, I can't show you him because I'd have to pay sponsorship money. No worries, mate. Keep going. <clears throat> okay, on with the cocktail and my story. I've got a really good true story. So, uh, today's cocktail is called the Matador. Now, uh, don't ask me why it's called the Matador. I don't think it relates to bullfighting. But um, basically, it's um, <clears throat> ice, two shots of tequila, and a squish of lime. Which reminds me, someone's taken my knife. Where has my knife gone? I'll have to go get a knife in a minute, I'll be back. But first I'll get started. All right, so we start off. Um, the, uh, oh, thank you very much, uh, Dean and Rosa, for this this wine glass. That wine glass there holds an entire one bottle of red wine. Do you think I can drink one bottle of red wine out of a glass in one hit? Probably. Okay. So let's get started. So, Ray Shine, my sponsor. Oh, I have a special guest appearance too. This is Queenie. Uh, Queenie celebrates her birthday. Bring her over into the shop. Oh, thank you. Queenie celebrates her 15th birthday. So, in um, human terms, she's about 101 years old. Okay, Queenie, back you go. Back now. Back now. Good girl. All right, um, uh, assistant, can you get me a knife from the kitchen, please? A sharp one. Okay, so two shots. That's a proper shot glass. I use a plastic glass. So for two shots of um, uh, Rayshine tequila, which I'm not allowed to advertise. Okay, put in there. <coughs> now, this is where we add the ice. Very carefully. Take it away. 
got something on it, like, what is on that? Alright, I'm going to use this, so, once we've done two shots of tequila, ice, uh, pineapple juice, just topped it up in your, in your shaker, and a squeeze of lime, like so. That piano playing is great, isn't it? Isn't it good of him to come in and play for us? Okay, then just give it a bit of a stir. Like so. And then try it, and then I can get on to my story. Here we go. Now this is very simple, it's a really nice drink. It's really nice. Story. So, because we're going out to uh, Ray's birthday soon. So, happy birthday, Ray. I know you're out there watching. Okay, so the story is 19. <coughs> what year was it? God. 92, 93, or something like that. Way back in the dim dark past. I was windsurfing. I had four cans of 4X uh, on one of those, you know, those wind, those. Uh, plastic things you, you pull them off. I tied that to my sailboard, my windsurfer, and I sailed out uh, around Ursa Heads, threw the sail down. I was a pretty good windsurfer then, too. I was actually in a race with Robbie Nash. Look it up. <coughs> anyway, so I've thrown it down and, and I've laid down. It's a beautiful blue sky. It's Queensland. It's, it's warm, although I did have a wet, full wetsuit on. And I'm laying on my board, drifting along. And all of a sudden, I, I get caught up against this, like a net, like a, like a barrier. What the hell? And there's these huge, what do you call them? Um, those things that blow. Raft. Not a raft. It's these, uh, boy, boys. They, they, they're what, what holds the shark nets up. Shark nets. So I'm caught into the top of this net. My board's going like this. Oh, my cans have just about come off. Uh, I, I woke, I sort of, I was half asleep, I think. And I look down, I look where I am, and down below me there's a huge, like a massive shadow, shaking, thrashing like this. And it's, I can tell from the head, it's a, it's a hammerhead shark. And it's only like about a metre, maybe two, a metre and a half, two metres tops, under my, directly under my sailboard, thrashing. It's caught in the net. I shit myself. I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? So I jump up. Uh, dump the beer, the beer's gone. Pull me rig up. I've got to get out of here. So I take off. Luckily, I was um, seaward. I was, on the, I was on the ocean side, not on the on the uh, inside. Otherwise, the way the wind was blowing, I could have had trouble getting around. Um, he was obviously coming in trying to get, and he's got caught in the net. So I've sailed over him, around, past. There's a place at uh, uh, Torquay. Uh, Torquay. There's a place at Noosa called the Boiling Pot. It's like these cliffs. So I've sailed around the cliffs and I'm absolutely terrified at this point. And I come in, I'm sailing, I see a, I see a bit of a beach with people walking around. I come sailing in and I'm still in shock from the shark. Well, throw down the sail. I'm going to have another drink. Well, this is a big story. It's a big glass. It's a big glass. So I throw down the sail, and um, I, I stand up and I look around the beach, and there's people on that, and then I look again, and there's a guy, there's a kid bowling to this bloke, probably in his 60s, his testicles are hanging down near his knees, he's totally naked, I look around, they're all naked, there's like 150, 200 people on this beach with no clothes on, and I've just rocked up in my wetsuit, still panicking from a shark, like still in shock. And there's little Johnny walking along, there's mum, dad, Uncle Bill, all walking around with no clothes, walking right past me. And like they're at a picnic, a giant picnic. Well, the, the shock from the shark was one thing. Seeing all these naked people around me was like, what the hell? I've just gone out of the, from the boiling pot into the, what is it? Out of the fry pan into the boiling pot. So, 
I think, my God, what is happening? What is happening? And I'm a bit, I'm a bit exhausted. And I'm looking for a sign. There's got to be a sign out there to, to, to get me out of here. I've just rocked up here. Now I've got to sail off somewhere. I can't stay on this beach in a full wetsuit with all these people with no clothes on around me, right? So I'm looking for a sign. Well, I looked, I looked up to the left, looked to the right. All of a sudden I see this woman. She would be fairly tall. She would have been about nearly six foot tall. Amazonian, totally naked, and she's running. Right, she's running from the beach to the water, virtually in front of me. And she had breasts. Now she was a very well endowed woman. In fact, I'll just give a quick example. Now most breasts, a woman's breasts, sort of, she would have been in her mid thirties, uh, sort of like so. And she's running. But these weren't just doing this. These breasts were like this. They were like torpedoes sticking out, and they weren't going down, they were just rigid, and they were pointing a direction as she's running. And I'm thinking, that's got to be my sign. That's the sign. That's where I have to exit. And it just turned out the wind and everything was just right. Off I went. Zooming back out on a perfect tack. Tacking to the left, tacking to the right. Zoom back around the net. Uh, the net's in the distance still bopping up and down, but I'm well, I'm about 50 metres away. Zooming along, there's a bit of a wind change, it blows me in back uh, on uh, the Noosa Beach around the other side. Further sail down, I'm back home, a bit shaken, a bit stirred, a bit like this cocktail, a bit icy. <laughs> that was it, I mean man, what a day. Uh, that was one hell of an experience, and one I'll never forget. So there you go, that is a true story. Uh, a, a totally nude beach at Noosa, um, and I was right in the middle of it in a full wetsuit on the sailboard. And I was almost eaten by a hammerhead shark. So take that with you. Anyway, I'm going to head off, I think it's Ray's birthday. So uh, happy birthday again, Ray. Uh, I want to thank um, Richard for coming in. Uh, this is Richard here. Wonderful guy. Yep, thumbs up to you. No, I'm not paying you. No, no. Okay, all right. Okay, thanks. I've got to go and um, have a great day. And I'm going to take this with me.